is Thiago Ventura. Um, I am an incoming assistant professor in computational social science at the McCord School for Public Policy at Georgetown. And I just finished my postdoc at the Center for Social Media and Politics at NYU. And my grant focused on identifying the causal effects of social media messaging apps, particularly WhatsApp, on exposure to misinformation, beliefs for misinformation, and political attitudes, particularly political polarization, with a focus on global south uh, democracies. The way that we're gonna do that is pretty much by conducting a multi-country field experiment in which uh, we are gonna incentivize participants to spend a month without consuming multimedia content on WhatsApp. And then we're gonna do a pre and post survey in each of uh, in, in four different countries with these participants to identify the effect of spending uh, a month before elections without consuming multimedia content on WhatsApp on their exposure to misinformation, beliefs, and political attitudes. And the importance uh, of reducing exposure to multimedia country, multimedia content is derived by what we know from the literature that most of the misinformation that circulates on social media comes through the formats of images and videos that are changed to, to, to pass some kind of like misinformation, uh, false rumors to to the general population. So that's the design that we are we are setting up, and the importance for us is to use this grant to run the same design across four different countries. We're going to do in Brazil, South Africa, India, and Mexico, and measure the effects in this comparative context and be able to, to estimate um, causal quantities uh, with high external validity and also well identified through randomization of study. Sure, so um, during my PhD, I was working on a few different projects on social media and politics, particularly on um, how content spreads on social media, what, what makes people more willing to share content on social media, what are the effects of attention, ideology, reputation. So I was like, a lot of my research agenda was around the activation and the propagation of content on social media. I was also interested in polarization, misinformation, and how misinformation spreads on social media. And during my postdoc, um, I started to think about ways to causally identify the effect of social media on beliefs for misinformation and polarization. And I was particularly interested on global south democracies, and particularly in Latin America, because that's my main area of interest. And at the same time that I was like starting my postdoc, um, there was like a huge election happening in Brazil. There was a presidential election in 2022. And then we came up with this design that was very similar to other designs that were conducted on Facebook. So incentivizing people to spend an entire month uh, without using Facebook and measuring change on attitudes and beliefs. And we decided to expand this design to the context of the election in Brazil, but particularly to the context of WhatsApp. Uh, and this is important, as I said before, because we know that in global South democracies, those social media messaging apps are way more popular and are also more vulnerable to the spread of misinformation than the most traditional feed-based uh, social media applications like Twitter and Facebook. I think that there are like a few different answers to this question. The first one, as an academic, I hope to see this this published in, in, in highly ranked um, academic journals and I also hope to see this um, covered by the media and helping to shape the, the public conversation about um, what are the effects of social media in politics. We, one of the most challenging things about working and researching on social media and politics is that everybody uses social media you can find evidence for anything when you just like look at your personal experience with social media but we have like very few bigger robust studies understanding the cause effect of social media on politics so the, the primary goal is to of course publishing the results in academic journals but also helping 
shaping the conversation about what are the cause effects of social media, how we can have like robust and, and externally valid quantities that help us help us understand what exactly social media is causing and how it is affecting um, people's political attitudes and exposure and beliefs from misinformation. But also, um, I'm, I'm hoping this should be like the, the beginning of a broader research agenda on social media and politics outside of the US and outside of the most developed countries. I think we have, for reasons of structural inequalities, we have like way more research um, on this area um, in the most developed countries, particularly in the US. But the consequences of misinformation and spread misinformation on social media are, are larger and more concerning in countries in the global south for many different reasons and I think that this is also one goal of this research is to call the attention of other colleagues in our field in general that it is important to focus in, in other countries, to focus in, in countries that are outside of the, 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 the economic center of the world uh, and also understand um, different contexts and different social media applications that are more popular outside of these countries.